Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, president of the Open to Hope Foundation. I'm here today with Linda Coughlin Brooks. Hi, Linda. Hi, Gloria. Of course, Linda's close to my heart because she's a nurse that does grief counseling, and she's also a bereaved parent. Linda, can you talk a little bit about your practice and the things that you found with grief and loss? Yes, um, I have uh, really enjoyed working with people who have had loss in their lives and watching them come from the pit of despair out the other side and find meaning and purpose in their life again. Uh, I am always honored to be able to be invited in somebody's life. And I think a career in nursing has been a real adjunct to me in my practice in how to work with people and sit with them. Now, your daughter, I know, died of epilepsy, right? Yes, she did. And, you know, you were saying to me that people live with epilepsy, and we don't think of them dying of epilepsy, and so sometimes there haven't been the resources there, right? That's absolutely true, but uh, paired with the CDC and the National Health Institute, we really are looking at the statistics and the number of people who will die. Uh, uncontrolled epilepsy, it's one in 300, and I think it's, it supersedes all the other neurological deaths. And so there's a, a really important factor for people who do grief work. There's the potential they will have someone in their practice who could die from this. And I know for uh, people who are watching this video that have had a family member die of epilepsy, there's a new support going on, right? Absolutely. We've just uh, created the SUDEP Institute, which is uh, national and it is an online resource. There's a lot of print material and there are a lot of researchers, educators, physicians, family members coming together to help further research, further education for our mental health professionals, our physicians, and grief counselors. You know, uh, as I have, Linda has used her loss to kind of propel her to work in this field and to do things for the world. And I was thinking when you were telling me about epilepsy and what was going on for people that if there were people who wanted to volunteer to work in this field that's really uh, emerging and helping people with epilepsy, where would they go and or where would family members go to get support? Epilepsy.com is a wonderful resource that has listed within that resource many of the places that we're looking for to draw people into the interest or where they're looking for answers. The SUDEP Institute is listed on that resource, epilepsy.com. It's a brand new website. They've just recreated it. There is a lot of downloadable material and places to find resources and get connected. And SUDEP. Uh, uh, the SUDEP Institute will be the best resource, which you can find that there. And I know you're a regional coordinator for the Compassionate Friends. Is that just recently got um, roped back into that? <laughs> uh, but I have to say, um, Compassionate Friends is a wonderful organization, and I really feel in my own grief saved my life and uh, really directed me into becoming a healthy human being. And without that professional resource, it really is sitting shoulder to shoulder with the people who understand, and I know you're one of them and, and was part of my journey as well. And you can find the Compassionate Friends at CompassionateFriends.org. Now, Linda, I know you also do private practice. Do you have a website? I do, lcoughlin at griefandgrowth.com, and uh, I am in the colorful state of Colorado. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on this YouTube today. Thank you for the work you do. I'm your host, Dr. Gloria Horsley, and you've been watching an Open to Hope video. God bless.